Welcome back, and today I'm going to show you my new Olympic recurve bow. Well, here it is. Um, these are all the basic parts that I uh, have. I made uh, this quiver with just some vacuum tube PVC pipe. A little bit of padding there. Uh, there's a little bit of padding at the bottom as well, um, just to absorb any, uh, you know, noise from the arrows. Um, this set of the V-bar and the extension, uh, the main long stabilizer bar, it's about 30 inches and it's the Crown KSL. This came in a set, so it, it screws in here. But this whole thing came in a set. Um, it was about $150 and I uh, wanted to try that out. It's all carbon um, and it seems to work just fine. String I made as well, but uh, these are the Sebastian Flute Premium Carbon uh, Wood and Carbon Laminate Limbs. This is the uh, Cartel Metalist sight and I find it really good because it, you know it has this portion here that allows you to do some fine tuning uh, that function also keeps the entire uh, mechanism on the slide and what I found in the cheaper ones is that it's a screw on it's just a tension and what happens with the vibration in the bow is that it um, slides down and falls off this fine tune adjustment uh, allows it to stay on the bow and this um, uh, this site was only about uh, $55 and so it's not a high-end site at all uh, but it functions really well I occasionally have to tighten the screws as the vibrations loosen them up this is the AAE Cavalier extended clicker Again, I got this because I didn't cut my arrows down at first, just to make sure I didn't uh, uh, I didn't overcut them or cut them too short. And this works great. Again, that's about thirty dollars. And of course, the main part here is the riser, and this is the Sebastian flute forged plus riser. Okay. Uh, it comes with the rest, which is, it works fine, it's great. It's just a magnetic uh, flipper rest. And the plunger. It comes with the Sebastian Flute uh, Forge plunder, Plunger. And again, um, from what I've heard, it just works fine. There's nothing special to it. It does its job. It's uh, relatively easy to adjust with some Allen keys. Um. As you can see here, the riser utilizes the ILF system. I always suggest um, using a stringer to make sure you do not warp the limbs. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of paper tuning just to see how it looks. 